And welcome back to Accent LA. I'm Larry High, and our next guest tonight just recently sang the the anthem, the national anthem at the LSU Tulane game. Correct. This is yes, Marisa Boudreau. Where are you from? Prairieville, LA. And that is Prairieville, LA. LA, <laughs> Louisiana. Like, like Accent LA. And that is by Baton Rouge, correct? Yes, sir. And how'd you get a chance to sing at the LSU Tulane baseball game? Well, my dad owns uh, Boudreaux's Automotive and his secretary, Betty Jaro. Her husband, Harold Jaro, got us, um, has some connections, uh -huh. I guess you would say. Uh, and, she, and you're a singer. How, how often do you perform? That was actually probably my third, mm, nope, nope. Second, I think, televised event. Uh, or maybe, no, it wasn't televised. I don't know. So, well, <laughs> what other things have you done? I sang the anthem at the Mardi Gras Nationals mm -hmm. racing event and Nitro Jam, I think, yeah. And then <laughs> you're a drag racer, from what I understand. Yes, sir. And you uh, tear them up, from, from what I get. Uh, did you win a lot? Last year. <laughs> and, and what, did you, first place? Uh. Winner and runner-up. Uh huh. Whose car do you drive? Your father's or your, your family's? It's, it's a half-scale junior drag, and me and my brother both have one. Uh huh. And my dad has his own full-scale 69 Mustang that he races. No kidding. And which uh, which raceway? All around the state? Mainly at state capital and no problem in boroughs. So. Uh, no kidding. No kidding. So you're a singer and a drag racer. What else do you like to do? Couple pageants here and there. Uh -huh. That yeah. big thing for you, I mm -hmm. guess. When you feel like half and half, half and half, you enjoy uh, being on stage then. Yes, I Kinda love sorta. to perform. I yeah. love to perform. Uh, there you go. Well, I let's uh, take a look at uh, Marissa Boudreau, Boudreau at the uh, <laughs> at the Tulane LSU game singing the national anthem. Oh, say can you Very nice. Very, very good. Have you had any voice lessons or anything, or is it something you picked up? Over the years, I've had two vocal teachers, uh -huh. but as my mom says, I don't like people telling me what to do. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Get it from well, my dad. Uh, I, well, the, then I'm not going to uh, tell you anything uh, what, <laughs> what to do. But uh, why the St. Jude shirt? From what I understand, you, you were um, on a, a mission sort. Ev evidently, you had leukemia. Yes, sir. And you beat leukemia. Your cancer yes, survived. Sir. You're an inspiration. That's, that's why you're here. <laughs> yes, well, um, St. Jude is the hospital that took care of me, that basically saved my life, was my help, I guess you could say. I don't know. Uh -huh. And it takes about a million dollars a day to run that hospital. And that's on a good day. Mm -hmm. So any donations can help at all. Like, whew. yeah. And how long? How old were you when, when this happened to you? When I was diagnosed, it was September twenty eighth, two thousand five. I was eight. I was right after my eighth birthday. Mm -hmm. So that puts you in high school now, or <laughs> no, middle school. I'm only twelve years old. Twelve. I thought you were a little <laughs> older. I know, so I don't look uh, it. you're in seventh grade. Yes, sir. And what school you go to? Prairieville Middle School. Prairie View Middle. Our Panthers. You represent? You represent <laughs> Prairieville, which is outside of Baton Rouge. So a lot of kids do need a lot of help over at St. Jude. Do you plan on doing anything else for St. Jude? Well, um, we got in contact with public relations, and I don't have any word yet, but maybe. We might do something for St. Jude, any promotions or Still getting word back. I don't know. You know, I hope they call you. I hope they call you. You have a great talent, and uh, stick with it. Stick with the pageants, and stick with all that stuff. And like you said, you, uh, it's doing what you love. Yes, Thank sir. you very much. Marissa Boudreau, everybody. Thank you for watching Accent LA. Greg will be back next time. I want to thank my guests. 
Tonight, uh, Robbie Mathern from the Cajun Heritage Festival, and also Jody LaBelle, the singer, songwriter, and uh, look for her new children's book. And thanks again for watching here on LCN. Thanks for listening.